From 1955 to 1968, Martin Luther King led a peaceful 20th century American Revolution. In the short span of 13 years, the non-violent civil rights movement which he headed changed the face of American society. It united black people in organized, non-violent protest which exposed the evils of white racism. Segregation, which had been a way of life for large parts of the nation, was practically eliminated. Full freedom was not won, but more was accomplished in those 13 years than in the previous 100, including the enactment of federal legislation to protect the rights of black citizens. Wherever, by clear and objective standards, states and counties are using regulations or laws or tests to deny the right to vote, then they will be struck down. Martin Luther King's leadership of this march toward freedom began in December 1955 in Montgomery, Alabama, in the heart of the Deep South. He was only 26 years old, a recently ordained Baptist minister who had been asked to lead a boycott of the city buses to protest segregated seating and mistreatment of black passengers. Are you ready for the question? All in favor, let it be known by standing on your feet. That was the day that we started a bus protest which literally electrified the nation. And that was the day when we decided that we were not going to take segregated buses any longer. And you know, when we planned the bus boycott, we said if we could just get about 50 or 60 percent of the Negroes of Montgomery not to ride buses, this would be an effective boycott. 